Hello guys, and we are here today with a new deck profile. This is going to be a different deck profile. This is not a really meta deck, but it is still a very good deck, and this is the new UA deck, and um, we have seen this. There, uh, This deck is in Duel Alliance and Next Challengers. There are some new cards that came in Next Challengers that make this deck very, very good, and overall, it's very, actually very powerful. Because during your turn, you can summon out three Amadis and just attack, 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 attack. During your opponent's turn, you can summon out pretty much something that would be similar to... I don't want to say necessarily a Quasar, but yet it almost is because it has the same effect where can, each one can negate uh, one card effect, any card effect, except a counter trap. Uh, so that is something that makes this deck really, really powerful. And the only problem it has is consistency. You, They're all uh, high-level monsters, so in order to get them out, either... You need to use their effects, all of them have the effect that you can return one to hand to special summon. So, so that makes the deck really, really good, makes it easy to get them out. But if you can't do that right away, then you might need a tribute summon, so that can make things a little bit harder. That, and it's even more budget friendly in the fact that this extra deck is pretty much non-existent. Like, I pretty much had to put together an extra deck and then have that influence this, so there were some certain choices that influenced what I had in the main deck instead of the main deck influencing the extra deck like a lot of decks. So, I will start right in with each effect, this is Goalkeeper, again they all have the effect where you can return one to hand to special summon, so yet this guy, once during your opponent's turn, you target one UA monster you control, during this turn it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect, so that makes them very very useful. Here, note, only during your opponent's turn. And then we have UA Mighty Slugger, he's an Omadis, again, special summon him from hand by returning one to field. And then we have UA Perfect Gaze, again I kind of already told you guys this is a fact, he discards one card to negate a card or effect, which makes him really, really good. He has 25 defense, so he's a little hard to get over, and he's just really great. If you can get out three of him, then that's really great, and pretty much what you want is doing your opponent's turn to have some goalkeepers and some UA Perfect Gaze, and that makes him very, very good. And then we have two, the Nekoseki. And she is very, very useful because she's pretty much an Almaty. Once she's summoned, nothing your opponent can, I uh, ha nothing your opponent has set can be activated. So it makes her very powerful. If she can, she has 17 on attack, so she can get over a lot of stuff. So that makes her very, very useful. And then we have the level four. This guy you can normally summon without tributing, so that's really good. He's pretty much the person that starts off our plays. Uh, his effect is pretty much you. He can um. You, you can use his effect to special summon one from hand by returning one from hand, which it's not necessary, but it is still good because sometimes you can't, because you can only use their effects to special summon once per turn, and if you want to get out two Mighty Sluggers, then you're going to need you, you, UA Midfielder. You have the basic combo you want if you want UA Stadium and hence so that way you can get out of easy searches. One Grammo because I love him, one Card Card D because sometimes you just don't need the card. Consistency is a thing in this deck. Glow up bulb again. This is a tuner that we put in that I put in just just so that way I did have some access. I felt like this deck uh, would be really good. And now that it has an earth turner tuner and this level 4 monster, it can make it that truly a beast. And this is also a great discard card for UA Perfect Gate. Effect Veiler, another great discard card because you can turn Effect Veiler into a Spell of Veiler or a Trap Veiler, so that's very, very useful. We have one Instant Fusion, and as you can see, one Super Polar that is for. Um, Elder God Noden, you can summon him with either one. One with Jackie, two uh, reinforcements on the army because the only targets are UA Midfielder, so we only have two. Three Upstar Goblins, two Terraforming because if you do draw into one, then that means one would be dead. But yeah, I mean, that isn't so bad because then you could just discard it. And then two part of dualities. Uh, this deck does do a lot of special summoning, yet if you don't get your cards you need, then you will be a little bit in trouble. Yet if you can, get the cards you need and you draw into a duality, just keep it in your hand and it will be very useful because you can just discard it. And then one super poly again to get out of the god node. One monarch storm fourth. So instead of maybe summoning a milled fielder, you might use this guy to tribute opponent's monster and summon a slugger or something. This card this card's very interesting. UA powered jersey. It's an equipped spell card. The monster the one you want to equip it to is of course slugger. You equip it to slugger, it gains a thousand attack and defense. Also if it uh attack any, oh no, if it attacks, a, if it battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled. So that means it really great seeing how it's luggers in a body, so nothing can stop them. And if the equipped monster destroys a monster by battle, it can make a second attack during the bat during this battle phase. So that makes it very, very useful. Very useful. 
and then it says doing the standby phase banish the equipped monster but yet you do not have to worry about that because this card says if this card is summoned to the graveyard because the equipped monster returned to the hand you can return this card to hand so you summon him equip this with him summon out and then attack and then summon out perfect date so it's really really good we only run one because we only really need one and then three UA stadiums this has two effects one is if a UA monster is normal summoned to your side of the field you can add one UA monster from your deck to your hand so it's our searcher it's, this really reminds me of Black Whirlwind and Black Wings, yet, again, this is a field spell, so you can only have one, which makes it really, really sad. If it was a continuous spell card like Black Whirlwind, that would make it so much better, but it isn't. But it has the additional effect that says if you a monster special summon to your side field, all monsters you currently control gain 500 attack. So that's very, very, very useful. And then we have one for our traps, one bottomless, one compulse, one psalm, and two vanity emptiness. So just pretty much a whole bunch of generic traps, you can put, you could take these out for anything else that you want, because any monster effect that you'd want to stop, like, you can just use perfect day. And then on to our X deck, when one 2 out of God Nodix, this card is gonna change the game, because it requires one synchro or XD monster, or one synchro or one XD monster, so you can use one of each, or two of one of them, it doesn't really matter. Yet its effect is when this card is special summoned, you can target one level 4 or lower monster and you can have a special summon. It. Its effects are negated, also vanishes when you leave its field. But because of that, you can summon out a low level tuner, go into a synchro player, or level summon out a level 4, go into a rank 4. He's very useful, and the fact that you can pretty much super poly him because everybody plays synchros and XDs, yeah, he's really, really decent. And he's an interfusion target, so you can also take that route. And then just a whole bunch of random synchros for whatever position we're in, one starter, or one Leo, Moonlight Road Dragon, if you don't know what this guy is, he, uh, when this card is special summon, or when a level 5 or higher monster is special summon, the opponent's side of the field target, target one special summon monster your opponent controls, you turn that target to hand, so he's very useful. Go your guardian, he wouldn't be too hard to make, uh, with either effect failure or go above and with any of our level 5s. Yeah, these guys are just so powerful, you don't even need it. One of Marty's because this deck has three, so why not have a fourth? One Nutria Beast, so now we can negate spells. And for rank 5, we play and wind up Arsenal and Mayo, who can detach one to destroy two deck cards, which is very good. One Tyrus, one Adrius, one Volcathorus. God, these cards used to be really big a long time ago, but now they've kind of fallen out, the fallen off the game, kind of. Then one 101, one Cast Out, one Excite Hot Knight. And that is the deck profile. This deck is very, very good. Just because UA perfect ace, he just negates something, so he just makes the deck so much better. Like literally, if you're running a Monarch deck, run this guy. Just run him at one or two because it's just like I have this monster. I'm gonna and if you're in that position, because like Monarch, they're very offensive, but yet they don't have any defense. They don't have any stun. This guy gives him stun. This would give a Monarch deck a whole lot of stun. He can only activate his effect once per turn, but if you can get out multiples. Like what this deck is meant to do, it's meant to get out three of them, and this deck can be very good. Don't forget that hat was a big deck, and that deck was all about stun, and this deck is very much stun oriented. It's really hard to get their monster off the field, and it's really, really um, easy just to get him out, and then just pass turn, and then he's just like, he's really, really good. And so yeah, this is the deck. Can't wait to do a duel with this deck. It will be really fun. I've been testing this out for a while, it's just a, really a matter of consistency, I really enjoy playing this, who knows, I might actually be able to build this, like I don't think, I know I don't have all UA goalkeepers, I don't know what the is, but I do have some milled fielders, I course have grand moles, I have a lot of these cards, except Rota, I literally do not have a single Rota, which they are for me, but for the main part I have like most of this course so I could actually build this deck which would be very interesting, but that's a different topic. So yeah, but yet, uh, besides that, I have nothing else, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to check out some of my other videos that will be over here, and the link's in the description. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any opinions on this deck, anything you want to say, anything at all, leave a comment, give me a like, and maybe even subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, if you could click on the links in, on the annotation to see the duel with this deck or some of my other videos, that would really help. And check out the links in the description to watch some of me and my friends' videos and even something that could help make this deck a reality for you. See you guys later. Bye.